so I guess I'm going to try to take a cab. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to take a cab. See, get, to get a, a EKG done. You know, here's the thing. Years ago, I had to I had to leave my best family doctor. I had to get find another doctor because I wasn't sleeping. I was sleeping th three hours a night, three hundred sixty five days a year, not getting the help I needed. I had to leave that family doctor. Maybe one of the worst decisions that I was forced to make. My family doctor packed up and moved his office further away. So miles, miles further away. He was quite close. I was so ill from not sleeping that I could not do that long drive through heavy traffic anymore. I just couldn't. I was too impaired from from not sleeping. So I was forced to find another family doctor who is just really close by. But you know what? That was, you know, 10 years ago, M more than 10 years ago that he moved offices. So, you know, 10, 15 years ago, my sleep was critical. I don't believe that this, it would take this long to diagnose heart failure, unless I'm wrong. In 2009, my irregular heartbeat was diagnosed. Um, I don't believe that it takes deck I think this is chronic chronic patient profiling when you're when you've got a a woman in her 40s that can't can no longer drive to your office because they're so ill you know I mean I think this is just chronic, severe patient profiling because they had me on antidepressants and anti-anxiety drugs. Right from the word go, even in my 20s, the sleep issue was being misdiagnosed as anxiety or a mental health issue. This has been chronically patient profiled, whatever it is, whether it's the heart or not. I'm really wondering if it's the heart now. What do you do? What do you do when you, you know, my family doctor, that one family doctor was pretty good. But psychiatry or the fact that you're on medications can, can influence even the best, best family doctor. So what do you think when you're a family doctor? You've got a patient sleeping three hours a night. They're in their forties, and they can't drive to. They cannot drive to your office anymore, because they're 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 severely sleep deprived. You're going to tell yourself that's a mental health issue. They're too impaired from sleep deprivation. Chronic undiagnosed sleep apnea. Um, respiratory depression from medications. Sleepwalking, sleep eating from medication. Slow heart rate, slow respiratory from medication. And maybe an undiagnosed heart issue. And you're going to sit back and, and, and 
Tell yourself what? Tell yourself patient profiling is is dangerous. You can destroy someone's physical health. Destroy. You can kill people with patient profiling. I get up. I wake up. It's hard to breathe. It's like someone standing on my chest. This is 365 days a year. This is year after year. It takes me hours to recover from the night. And each day, I, I might have an hour of very low energy. I can't climb stairs. I can't really bend over. I can't do anything physical. Every day it takes me hours. There's someone standing on my chest right now. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm going to end up being killed from patient profiling. 